During the U.S. citizenship test, you will be asked the questions in Part 9 of the new form N-400. Some interviewers also ask you to define vocabulary to make sure you understand the question. This lesson will cover 37 questions and all vocabulary definitions that you need to learn in order to pass the test easily. Everything is simple and easy to memorize. Let's start! Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. What does claim mean? What does claim mean? To say something is true. To say something is true. Do you know what claim to be a U.S. citizen means? Do you know what claim to be a U.S. citizen means? To state you are a U.S. citizen. To state you are a U.S. citizen. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. What does vote mean? What does vote mean? To elect new leaders. To elect new leaders. What does register mean? What does register mean? To sign up. To sign up. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes in the United States? No. What does overdue mean? What does overdue mean? Past a deadline. Past a deadline. Can you explain what O means? Can you explain what O means? To have a debt. To have a debt. Can you define O taxes? Can you define O taxes? To owe the government money. To owe the government money. Since you became a lawful permanent resident, have you called yourself a non resident alien on a federal, state, or local tax return? or decided not to file a tax return because you considered yourself to be a non-resident? No. Do you understand what non-resident alien is? Do you understand what non-resident alien is? A person who has not passed the green card test a person who has not passed the green card test. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party anywhere in the world? No. What does communist party mean? What does Communist Party mean? Like China, North Korea. Like China, North Korea. 
Do you know what totalitarian party is? Do you know what totalitarian party is? Government controls everything and people have no power. Government controls everything and people have no power. Have you ever advocated, supported, and promoted any of the following or been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the following? Opposition to all organized government, world communism, the establishment in the United States of a totalitarian dictatorship, the overthrow by force or violence or other unconstitutional means of the government of the United States or all forms of law, the unlawful assaulting or killing of any officer or officers of the government of the United States or of any other organized government because of their official character the unlawful damage, injury, or destruction of property, or sabotage. No. What does advocate mean? What does advocate mean? To support. To support. Do you understand what overthrow is? Do you understand what overthrow is? To remove a government from power. To remove a government from power. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that used a weapon or explosive with intent to harm another person or cause damage to property? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value? services or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that engaged or participated in kidnapping, assassination, or hijacking, or sabotage of an airplane, ship, vehicle, or other mode of transportation? No. Can you define assassination? Can you define assassination? An action of killing someone. An action of killing someone. What does sabotage mean? What does sabotage mean? To destroy something. To destroy something. Do you know what hijack is? Do you know what hijack is? To stop and steal a moving airplane. To stop and steal a moving airplane. Can you explain what kidnap is? Can you explain what kidnap is? To take someone away illegally. To take someone away illegally. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that threatened, attempted, conspired, prepared, planned, advocated for, or incited others to commit kidnapping, assassination, hijacking, sabotage, 
or use a weapon or explosive with intent to harm another person or cause damage to property? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in torture? No. Can you explain what insight means? Can you explain what insight means? To encourage. To encourage. What does torture mean? What does torture mean? To hurt someone physically. To hurt someone physically. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in killing or trying to kill any person? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in genocide? No. Do you understand what genocide is? Do you understand what genocide is? To kill a whole race. To kill a whole race. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in any kind of sexual contact or activity with any person who did not consent or was unable to consent or was being forced or threatened by you or by someone else? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in injuring or trying to injure any person intentionally and severely? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in not letting someone practice their religion? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Can you define national origin? Can you define national origin? Where a person is from. Where a person is from. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, or participated in any military or police unit? No. Do you understand what military unit is? Do you understand what military unit is? A group works for government. A group works for government. What is a police unit? What is a police unit? A group protects community. A group protects community. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, 
or participated in any armed group, for example, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, or guerrilla group? No. What is a rebel group? What is a rebel group? A group fights a government. A group fights a government. What does paramilitary unit mean? What does paramilitary unit mean? Like a military group, but is not official. Like a military group, but is not official. What does vigilante unit mean? What does vigilante unit mean? A group acts like the police, but are not the police. A group acts like the police, but are not the police. What does guerrilla group mean? What does guerrilla group mean? A group uses weapons to attack the government. A group uses weapons to attack the government. Do you know what self-defense unit is? Do you know what self-defense unit is? A group protects a place. A group protects a place. Have you ever worked, volunteered? or otherwise served in a place where people were detained, for example, a prison, jail, prison camp, detention facility, or labor camp, or have you ever directed or participated in any other activity that involved detaining people? No. Do you know what prison or jail is? Do you know what prison or jail is? A place where prisoners are kept. A place where prisoners are kept. What does detained mean? What does detained mean? Held in custody by police. Held in custody by police. Can you explain what detention facility is? Can you explain what detention facility is? A place where people are forced to stay. A place where people are forced to stay. What does prison camp mean? What does prison camp mean? A place to keep enemy soldiers. A place to keep enemy soldiers. Can you define labor camp? Can you define labor camp? A place to force people to work. A place to force people to work. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. What does threaten mean? What does threaten mean? 
To warn to hurt someone. To warn to hurt someone. Can you explain what weapon is? Can you explain what weapon is? Like a knife or gun. Like a knife or gun. When you were part of this group, or when you helped this group, did you ever threaten another person that you would use a weapon against that person? No. When you were a part of this group, or when you helped this group, did you ever use a weapon against another person? No. Have you ever sold, provided, or transported weapons, or assisted any person in selling, providing, or transporting weapons, which you knew or believed would be used against another person? No. Have you ever received any weapons training, paramilitary training, or other military-type training? No. What is paramilitary training? What is paramilitary training? Learning to fight in combat. Learning to fight in combat. Do you understand what weapons training is? Do you understand what weapons training is? To learn how to use a gun. To learn how to use a gun. What is military type training? What is military type training? Learning to fight in combat. Learning to fight in combat. Have you ever recruited, enlisted, conscripted, or used any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed group, or attempted or worked with others to do so? No. Do you know what enlist means? Do you know what enlist means? To sign up in the armed forces. To sign up in the armed forces. What does conscript mean? What does conscript mean? To require someone to join the army. To require someone to join the army. What does recruit mean? What does recruit mean? To ask. To ask. Have you ever used any person under 15 years of age to take part in hostilities or attempted or worked with others to do so? No. Can you explain what hostilities is? Can you explain what hostilities is? Fighting in a war. Fighting in a war. Have you ever committed, agreed to commit, asked someone else to commit, helped commit, 
or try to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Do you know what crime is? Do you know what crime is? An action that breaks the law. An action that breaks the law. What does it mean to commit a crime? What does it mean to commit a crime? To do something that breaks the law. To do something that breaks the law. What does offense mean? What does offense mean? A minor crime. A minor crime. Have you ever been arrested, cited, detained, or confined by any law enforcement officer, military official in the U.S. or elsewhere, or immigration official for any reason, or been charged with a crime or offense? No. Can you explain what confined is? Can you explain what confined is? To be kept in a place. To be kept in a place. Can you explain what arrested is? Can you explain what arrested is? Handcuffed by the police. Handcuffed by the police. What does cited mean? What does cited mean? Given a ticket by police. Given a ticket by police. What does charged mean? What does charged mean? Police tell you that you did something illegal. Police tell you that you did something illegal. If you received a suspended sentence, were you placed on probation or were paroled? Have you completed your suspended sentence, probation, or parole? What does suspended sentence mean? What does suspended sentence mean? Delaying of a sentence. Delaying of a sentence. What does parole mean? What does parole mean? The early release of a prisoner. The early release of a prisoner. Do you know how to define probation? Do you know how to define probation? You report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. You report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. Have you ever engaged in prostitution, attempted to procure or import prostitutes or persons for the purpose of prostitution, or received any proceeds or money from prostitution? No. Do you understand what procure means? 
Do you understand what procure means? To find someone for sex. To find someone for sex. Do you know what prostitute is? Do you know what prostitute is? Someone who has sex for money. Someone who has sex for money. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever manufactured, cultivated, produced, distributed, dispensed, sold, or smuggled any controlled substances, illegal drugs, narcotics, or drug paraphernalia in violation of any law or regulation of a U.S. state, the United States, or a foreign country? No. Can you explain what produce is? Can you explain what produce is? To make something. To make something. Do you understand what manufacture is? Do you understand what manufacture is? To make something. To make something. Do you understand what smuggle is? Do you understand what smuggle is? To take things to a country illegally. To take things to a country illegally. What does cultivate mean? What does cultivate mean? To grow plants. To grow plants. What does illegal drugs or narcotics mean? What does illegal drugs or narcotics mean? Like heroin or cocaine. Like heroin or cocaine. What does distribute mean? What does distribute mean? To supply something. To supply something. What does dispense mean? What does dispense mean? To supply something. To supply something. Do you know what controlled substances are? Do you know what controlled substances are? You can buy it with a prescription, but with restrictions. You can buy it with a prescription, but with restrictions. Do you know what drug paraphernalia is? Do you know what drug paraphernalia is? Equipment to make illegal drugs. Equipment to make illegal drugs. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What does immigration benefit mean? What does immigration benefit mean? 
things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. What does gamble mean? What does gamble mean? To play a game for money. To play a game for money. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What does dependent mean? What does dependent mean? Someone who relies on another person. Someone who relies on another person. Do you know what pay alimony means? Do you know what pay alimony means? To pay money to ex-spouse after divorce. To pay money to ex-spouse after divorce. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What does misrepresentation mean? What does misrepresentation mean? To lie or give wrong information. To lie or give wrong information. Can you explain what public benefit is? Can you explain what public benefit is? Welfare like food stamps. Welfare like food stamps. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. What does misleading mean? What does misleading mean? Giving the wrong idea. Giving the wrong idea. Do you know what false means? Do you know what false means? Not true. Not true. What does fraudulent mean? What does fraudulent mean? To claim something that is not true. To claim something that is not true. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Do you know what lie means? Do you know what lie means? To say something that is not true. To say something that is not true. What is an admission into the United States? 
What is an admission into the United States? The right to enter the United States. The right to enter the United States. Have you ever been removed or deported from the United States? No. Do you understand what deport means? Do you understand what deport means? To force a person to leave a country. To force a person to leave a country. Have you ever been placed in removal, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. What does rescission mean? What does rescission mean? To take back a decision. To take back a decision. Do you understand what deportation proceeding is? Do you understand what deportation proceeding is? Process of removing a person. Process of removing a person. Are you a person born as a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. Did you register for the Selective Service? No. Can you explain what Selective Service is? Can you explain what Selective Service is? Services in Armed Forces Under Law Services in Armed Forces Under Law Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does U.S. Armed Forces mean? What does U.S. Armed Forces mean? U.S. Military, Navy, Air Force. U.S. Military, Navy, Air Force. What does drafted mean? What does drafted mean? Being selected as a soldier. Being selected as a soldier. Can you explain what avoid being drafted is? Can you explain what avoid being drafted is? To prevent being selected as a soldier. To prevent being selected as a soldier. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you now have, or did you ever, have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What is a hereditary title? What is a hereditary title? 
a royal title like prince or princess. A royal title like prince or princess. Do you know what order of nobility is? Do you know what order of nobility is? Like king or queen. Like king or queen. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. What does Constitution mean? What does Constitution mean? It is the supreme law of the land. It is the supreme law of the land. Can you explain what form of government of the United States is? Can you explain what form of government of the United States is? Republic. Republic. Are you unable to take the oath of allegiance because of a physical or developmental disability or mental impairment? No. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Do you know what oath of allegiance is? Do you know what Oath of Allegiance is? A promise to be loyal to the United States. A promise to be loyal to the United States. Do you understand the full Oath of Allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Can you explain what bear arms means? Can you explain what bear arms means? To own or use a gun. To own or use a gun. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. What are non-combatant services? What are non-combatant services? Services that do not involve combat. Services that do not involve combat. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of natural importance under civilian direction? Yes. Can you explain what civilian is? Can you explain what civilian is? A person who is not in the military. A person who is not in the military. What is a civilian direction? What is a civilian direction? A direction from a person who is not in the military. A direction from a person who is not in the military. 
Do you know how to define work of national importance? Do you know how to define work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. Tasks that are important to a nation.